All right, so let's take a look at a couple of examples. Suppose we have a gas confined to a cylinder as shown. Consider the following changes. Heat the gas from 298. So um, A is we go from 298 to 360K in both cases, while maintaining the position in the, in the um, shown in the diagram. So, and what we want to know for each of these is um, how these changes will affect uh, the average, let's say the average distance between particles. Distance between particles, we want to know pressure of the gas and we want to know moles of the gas. So here we got the three things we're looking for and if it's A where I am increasing the temperature um, here I'm assuming A because it says the piston needs to stay volume is constant and if volume is constant the average distance between particles assuming I have the same number of particles is going to be equal I haven't added any more particles to the mix so I have an equal number of particles but what does go up is pressure because I had um, particles with let's say a certain size wishy hitting the uh, walls at a certain rate but if I have those same particles now moving much faster they're going to hit the, the side of the wall much more often. All right, for B it says if I move the piston to reduce the volume from 1 to 0.5 liters so here I'm assuming the same number of particles I'm assuming um, I bring the piston down halfway. Okay, so if I bring the piston down halfway, my number of particles is still the same. I am uh, have the same number of particles in a smaller space, so the number of the distance between the particles will go down. And because I have a less wall to collide with for the same number of particles, my number of um, or my pressure is going to go up. And for C, it says inject additional gas with the inlet. Um, okay, so if I just inject more gas, I got the same amount of space, and I am um, adding a whole bunch more particles, the distance between the particles will go down. The number of particles will go up, and if I have uh, more particles per area or per volume, I'm going to get more collisions and therefore more pressure. Okay, if I initially have a gas at 12 atmospheres in a volume of 23 liters and a temperature of 200 K, then I raise the pressure to 14 atmospheres and increase the temperature to 300 K, what is the new volume of the gas? Okay, so lots of different ways to attack these uh, uh, gas law problems. Um, you know, you can do potatoes and vegetables on the table is equal to potatoes and vegetables on the table. So the initial these are initial conditions, these are the final and solve. What I like to do is, uh, as my kids from last year know, is I like to make a table where I put pressure, volume, and temperature. I put my initial values and my final values and just kind of think through it rather than trying to memorize equations. So initially we say we have uh, 12 atmospheres. I'm just going to say atmospheres here. We have 23 liters in a temperature of 200 K. Whoops. 23 liters, and this should be, let me try to erase that, that's uh, 200K. I raise the pressure to 14 atmospheres, increase the temperature to 300, and the question is what happens to my, my volume of my gas. So I'm trying to figure out what happens to volume, so I start with my volume. And then I think through what kind of factors I need for pressure and temperature. So if I increase, my pressure goes up. If I increase my pressure, it's going to make the volume go down. Okay, so I need some pressure factor that makes volume go down. So I'm going, which would be either 12 over 14 or 14 over 12. So I'm going to use 12 over 14 because that will make the volume go down. So it's 12 atmospheres over 14 atmospheres. And here my temperature is going up, and if my temperature is going up, my volume will go up. So I need a factor, either 300K over uh, 200K or 200K over 300K. What makes it go up is 300K over 200K. Okay? Now I punch that, I get 23 times 
12 times 300 um, equals divide by whoops let me just go back and put divide by twice divide by 14 times 200 close my parentheses and I get 29 looks let me see I want two I want just two sig figs, so it really should be 30 liters. 30 point liters, right? All right, I have 2.9 liters of a gas at a pressure of 5 atm and a temperature of 50 C. What will the temperature of the gas be if I decrease the volume? Okay, so let's make a P um, V T table. I start my initially and final. I start with 2.9 liters. I'm just going to put liters here. I have ATM here. I have 5 ATM. And my temperature is 50 C plus 273. As you know, you got to use Kelvin. That's 323 K. Okay. And what will the temperature of the gas be? I'm trying to find new temperature. If I decrease the volume of the gas to 2.4 liters and the pressure to 3 atmospheres. Okay, so I'm trying to adjust temperature. 323 K times something. All right, so let's think about pressure first. So if my pressure goes down, it's going to be because my temperature goes down. So I want a factor that makes my temperature go down. So it's going to be 3 atmospheres over 5 atmospheres. And if I want my volume, let me see here, my volume is going down. If my volume goes down, it's going to be a result of the temperature going down. So again, I want to make this go down, so it's going to be 2.4 over 2.9. And these are both liters, right? So <clears throat> I'm going to take the 323 times 3 times 2.4 equals, divide by parentheses 5 times 2. 2.9, close my parentheses, and I get, hmm, all right, so that didn't work out. Let's try that again. 323 times 3 times 2.4, whoops, it's always easier to punch this with the finger than it is with this pen, 2.4 equals, and I'm going to divide that by 5 times 2.9, close my parentheses, and I get 160, okay, good, and I want two sig figs, so that's just perfect. All right, a gas has a volume of 28 liters, so I have volume, um, pressure, temperature. It starts with 28 liters. Temperature 45, so it's 45 plus 273, that's 8, that's 318. Oops, 318, and that's K. I have, um, it has its volume increased to 34 liters. The pressure initially, I don't know. Unknown pressure. I'm trying to find initial pressure. If I measure the pressure after the change and it's 2.0, um, and the temperature goes up, it goes down to 35, so that would be 308K, right? All right, so I'm trying to figure out what happens to pressure, or what happened to pressure. Where did it start? So you've got to be careful. And this is ATM, right? So, <coughs> if my pressure, if my temper, uh, I'm sorry, if my volume went up, that would make my pressure go down, which means I would start with a higher pressure. So I want a factor to make this go up, 34 liters over 28 liters, okay? Now my temperature went down, which would make my pressure go down, so I also want a factor to make this go up, because I must have started with a higher pressure. So I'd be 318K over 308K. And if I punch all this, I get 2 times 34 
times 318 equals, divide by, in parentheses, 28 times 308, close my parentheses, and I get 2.5, looks like I only want two sig figs, I got two sig figs and a lot of, 2.5 atmospheres.